Hello everybody, this is Pramita here. Uh, as you can see, this is a separate journal. This is not my daily journal. This is my daily journal, but this is my morning journal. So on this journal, actually, um, I started doing this quite a while back and then I, you know, stopped doing and then I went back to doing it. And uh, I, I think I've been doing this consistently for about uh, three months now. And uh, I have, you know, realized that my morning journal should be uh, of watercolor florals because I like to do florals in watercolor. So, and uh, I just want to show a very quick flip through of these pages. I have already posted these, most of the pages on Instagram. And uh, so I don't think they need any explanation of sorts. And so there is going to be a very quick flip of this journal and what I am doing right now uh, regarding the morning journal. So my morning journal is basically a notebook in A5 size. Uh, this is actually a gift from a very dear friend of mine, uh, Sylvia. She had sent me this on my birthday and I had been, you know, holding it for a while. I wanted to do something special to it because Sylvia is a very special friend of mine. Um, so I decided to do my morning journaling in it and uh, what I did was I just uh, tweaked a few things as usual you know I have this habit of tweaking things up uh, this is actually a pocket that I added I love to add pockets so basically if I want to keep some journaling cards or something I can keep them here so that's what I did and but now this journal is complete. I finished it and I'm just going to show that I've taken up or uh, taken out all the stuff from the pockets. So I started this in September. Now basically this is a watercolor journal sort of thing but the pages are not water for watercoloring. So what I did was I washi taped two pages uh, and made it into a pretty thick you know, as you can see, I may, I'll let show you. It becomes like so. I have not glued these pages because I didn't want to waste, uh, you know, so much of glue or my time. I just washi taped them because at the end of the day, I'll be just, you know, painting on them. So that was the idea. So I stopped. Uh, I didn't do any gluing. I just washi taped the edges. Uh, and that gives a very neat finished sort of look. I like this and um, yeah so this is for september uh, i'll just uh, do a very quick flip i have done a tip in over here and mostly what i do is i write on this page and i write a poem or a quote or something which has been bothering me or some song lyrics perhaps on the other page so that is how i like to function so this is like currently i had been doing this um, so i journal two pages a day basically and some of the words which stuck uh, get stuck in my mind i use i write them up i hand try to hand letter it's a very uh, you know amateurish uh, style because i'm not an expert so i try to do uh, like so so this is uh, how i do my watercoloring as you can see i am um, trying to get better at my watercoloring and that's that so uh, uh, these are very self explanatory so I don't think they will require any kind of explanation uh, I just write whatever comes to my mind basically and I try to do it every day uh, I think I've slipped only a day out here on in this journal um, and yeah so i sometimes when i don't have time like on friday i just uh, you know wrote a few uh, couplets of sort and that's that maybe i was too disturbed to write anything it happens sometimes you know if my mind is racing with so many thoughts i can't get things down so i have journaled around the flowers i like to do that a lot uh, this was, I think, yeah, so that's that.
uh, some words you know they come into my mind like retribution uh, so this is Sunday this is going to be a very quick flip and uh, I have been rediscovering my skills in watercolor and uh, I like them basically uh, you know it explores I like to explore other avenues of my creativity heartbeat of hope so that's that sometimes you know I add a little bit of embellishments in the form of you know crosses or teardrop sort of thing um, I love to do that and sometimes I you know outline the flowers uh, there's no turning back now, so it's like that. I wrote a song lyric. I love to listen to Matthew West. Uh, he's one of my favorite favorite uh, Christian song singers. I listen to a lot of inspirational songs, um, and this is like broken soul, mended heart, scarred for life. Yeah. So I, as you can see, I like to journal a lot around these flowers. You'll see that more and more. On this page Friday, I just wrote a poem. I didn't write anything as such. I didn't journal anything as such. Uh, so step to the edge but don't fall in. I felt like writing this. Sometimes I coin out words, you know. Uh, this is a page that I had messed up. And then I went back with pen and I made it into a picture of a girl. And I wrote my story and I wrote a small poem about me. And catch me when I falter, don't let me fall down. I felt like writing that. Nameless desires, voiceless love. So I have this way of writing. Uh, let me be. I, I try to frame words like that. You know, words come to me like that. So... I did write regularly a long time back, then I stopped writing and then, you know, life, sometimes when life takes over, uh, I like this page a lot. This is actually a stamp set I bought and I had this page empty, so I thought of, you know, using those stamps. This was a Wednesday and I was very busy on that day. Uh, this is a sunflower. I tried to uh, emulate, get inspired by Jenny Penton. And I love how these turned out. Such a bright page. And yeah. So that's that. Accept your past and present. So these are some of the words that I frame myself and then I put them down. It comes to me like that. So this is a very childish effort at hand lettering, as you can see. And I have drawn a pumpkin of sorts. I don't know if it looks like one. But unfortunately, my October didn't fit into this notebook, so I had to move into another one. And that was a disaster. So I'll tell you about that too. So I wrote Hope for the Best and Release Resistance by Leaning into the Wind. Have Faith. Stay Innocent. Story of Losing Me. And yeah, so I write sometimes, Broken Bruised. So there's a poem out there. Um, maybe someday I'll be able to compile them into one notebook. Uh, this is uh, like talking about the garden of life and to enjoy life. So that's that. And on this day, I, I don't know what happened. I just wrote a few words and then I couldn't write anymore. So I wrote desertion time for words and... This was Monday. I was not doing anything because Monday is a lazy day and that's why I wrote Messy Me Monday. Uh, this was Tuesday and I was doing a bunch of stuff. That's how my life is, you know, very erratic. Uh, and this was Wednesday. Uh, I wrote Respect Boundary. Uh, so these are some of the quotes that I came across um, that spoke to me, you know, we speak of love while we love hurting each other, we break each other. This is like a poem I wrote. Um, I usually do that and I have a word for the day sort of thing. Friday, this was my domestic goddess mode. I was doing a lot of household chores on that day and 
this was Saturday. So this, uh, okay, so this flower was a disaster. And then I went back with a white gel pen and, you know, did the outline sort of thing. And it looks so much better now. Uh, this is, I wrote Lonesome Journey. And then once again, I wrote a poem out here. Um, this was Sunday. And I wrote Bidding Adieu Changes. Because this was the last page in my this journal. And I was saying goodbye to my friend. Uh, so that's that. And I have, uh, I had decided that I'm going to journal in a separate book you know like this one and it came with a leather cover like this okay so actually it had this cover so while i was putting the washi tape the first thing happened was the cover which was which is a pure leather cover it simply split from the main uh, notebook you know and so i had to take it apart and i fixed another cover with a cardboard and you know a proper everything prim and proper i made a pocket as usual and at the back i made a tuck spot you know and i washi taped all the edges as you can see and now what i find is when i'm doing watercolor on these pages these pages are horrible like i'm I'm used to working on all sorts of pages because I don't have any watercolor pages for my watercolors. But this page was soaking water up like anything and the color was spreading all around. So I decided not to journal, um, do my morning journal in it. And uh, for the few days that October has, I made a watercolor insert for myself. Yeah, so um, change of plans. So this is just a few of the pages that I used to make my morning journal. Uh, and October has only a few pages, a uh, few days left now. So this is, uh, I'm using this from 16th. And this is how I have um, journaled over here. And I've prepped some of the pages. As you can see uh, so that I can go back and journal in them so that's how I have done this so this is my October journal and I don't know what I'm going to do in November maybe I'll make an insert for myself you know how I like to do things so um, I don't know I, I really have no idea so that's how I am currently doing my morning journals and I've turned the cover into a traveler's notebook. As you can see, it has two strings and it has a closure. I have just used some, you know, uh, those eyelets to make it into a traveler's notebook. And yeah, that's how things are working out. I still don't know the use for this because I don't use these kind of journals for my daily journaling uh, maybe i'll use it for something else and still to think about it uh, i'm so shocked and flabbergasted you know when your plans go not accordingly uh, you do feel horrible but this baby had given me a little bit of trouble initially but then it fell into the groove it learned i learned to tackle this basically so uh, I hope you liked my morning journals and uh, I'll be back with new flips and uh, there will be a, another thing that I'm planning to do very soon that is uh, I have been asked about my daily journals and their process videos and stuff like that I have done prepping with me on my channel itself uh, I think I'll have to do that again because many of you have been asking me and I keep on improvising stuff, you know, and coming up with new styles, new things to incorporate. So maybe I'll do a prep with me very soon uh, for my November journal. And yeah, so till then, bye.